In this video, I'm going to be covering all of the basics inside of Google Calendar. Hey guys, welcome back to Google Tutorials, where we give you the best tips and tricks to grow your confidence online. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so that you're the first to get notified every time we launch a brand new video. Google Calendar is Google's virtual calendar, which is perfect for leaving yourself reminders, planning events, and much, much more. To access this, all you need to do is go up to the nine dots and go down to Calendar. So once you've opened up Google Calendar, it should look a bit like this. So first of all, you get greeted by your main calendar, which is this large calendar area here. This is where it will display your main schedule for the day, if you have any meetings, as well as where and when. So as you can see, I don't have anything on my calendar, but if there was something in my calendar, so let's say I had a meeting on a certain day, the day would be up here, as well as the time and how long the meeting would take place on the left hand side. Next, you've got how you can view this. So let's, so seeing this one week at a time is all very well, but what if you want to see it one day at a time, or you want to be more vague uh, with a month at a time? To do this, what you want to do is go up to the top where it says week, and then you have four main options which you need to know. You have day, week, month, and year. So depending on how you want to view your calendar will depend on which option you prefer and you can flick between these at any point. Next, if you go to the left-hand side, you've got the Create button. This is where you'd be able to create events, meetings, reminders, tasks, and much, much more. But I'm going to cover a little bit more in depth about this one in a future tutorial. Underneath the Create button, you've got this smaller calendar. This basically just gives an overview of what day of the month it is, or what day a certain date falls upon. And the final thing that we're going to cover in today's tutorial are the various calendars. And a great reason to use Google Calendar is that you can have calendars shared amongst multiple people, which is great since you can have multiple calendars, which is perfect for differentiating between work and home calendars. So what this box here, where it says search for people, is where you'd search for the name or the email address of the person who has shared a calendar with you. Then underneath this, you've got your calendars, which is all of your Google tasks, reminders, as well as birthdays, and much, much more. And then underneath that, you have your other calendars, which is all of the calendars which you've been added to by other people, or your default ones, such as your holidays. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe since we post weekly content to help you grow your confidence online. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.